Fire ants are reddish brown in color, live in mounds by the thousands and worst of all intrude and sting. Learn more facts about these fiery pests. 1. Fire ants belong to the genus Solenopsis, and there are over 280 known species of fire ants worldwide. 2. The most well-known species of fire ants is the red imported fire ant, Solenopsis invicta, which is native to South America but has spread to many parts of the world, including the southern United States. 3. Fire ants are known for their aggressive behavior and painful sting. When a fire ant bites, it latches onto the victim's skin with its mandibles and then stings repeatedly, injecting venom. The sting can cause a burning sensation, itchiness, and the formation of pus-filled blisters. 4. Fire ants build large mound-shaped nests, often constructed in open, sunny areas such as lawns, fields, and pastures. The mounds can reach heights of up to 18 inches 46 centimeters, and can contain thousands of individual ants. 5. Fire ants are omnivorous, meaning they eat both plant material and other animals. Their diet includes seeds, insects, small vertebrates, and even carrion. 6. Fire ant colonies have a complex social structure, with multiple types of individuals, including queens, male ants, worker ants, and soldier ants. The queen is responsible for reproduction, while worker ants gather food, build and maintain the nest, and care for the young. 7. Fire ants have a remarkable ability to survive floods and waterlogged conditions. They can link their bodies together to form floating rafts, allowing them to float on the water's surface until they reach dry land. 8. Fire ants are invasive species in many parts of the world, including the United States, Australia, China, and Taiwan. They can have detrimental effects on agriculture, wildlife, and human health. 9. Controlling fire ant populations can be challenging. Various methods, including baiting, insecticides, and biological controls, have been employed to manage their spread and minimize their impact. 10. Fire ants are highly adaptable and resilient, making eradication efforts difficult. However, researchers and experts continue to study their behavior and develop strategies to mitigate their negative effects.